Hello and thank you for joining me today. Today let's take a look at the symbolism of the, the symbol of Freemasonry, which is the square and the compass with the G in the center. What is the meaning of the square and the compass? And we will take a look at some other symbols as well. Now first of all, let me say that these are merely theories as to the meaning of the symbolism. No one really knows what the meaning of these symbols are. Now this is just a theory. Now so you have a square and a compass and the G in the center. The G is said to represent, to, to stand for God. It's also said to stand for geometry. Thus the G stands for geometry. Thus you have a square and a compass with the G of geometry. Now if it does stand for geometry, um, and the, the, the square is used to, to draw a straight line, and the, the compass is used to draw a curve or a circle, then it, it goes to reason that you could reduce these to two geometrical figures. Now, as I said, a, a compass is used to trace a circle. A square is used to draw a straight line. Thus, you can reduce the square and the compass to the symbols of the circle and the square. The circle and the square. A circle is a symbol of infinity, whereas the square is a symbol of the four directions, the four elements, the four um, corners of the earth, so that the circle represents infinity, while the square represents the finite world. So you have the infinite and the finite transposed. Um, it's very similar to the symbol of the hexagram, the upward pointed triangle and the, the downward pointed triangle. The upward pointing triangle represents man reaching up to God, and the downward pointing triangle represents God reaching down to man. It is also a reference to as above, so below, that the below is a reflection of that which is above, and the, and the above is a reflection of that which is below. Thus, it is a symbol of the infinite and the finite, the limitless and the limited, the eternal, changeless, and the changeable. Now, the Rosicrucians have the symbol of the rose and the cross. Sometimes this is reduced to being the cross with a circle in the center. Once again, the cross has been um, associated with the human body. The cross is a symbol of the human body, a man standing like this, or a woman. Um, the cross is also a symbol of the four elements and the four directions and things like that. The four elements and the four directions. Now, um, the circle, once again, is a symbol of the infinite. It is a symbol of the infinite reality. Therefore, once again, you have the finite with the infinite transposed upon it. Um, in, in Christian mysticism and Rosicrucianism, the Rose Cross was also a symbol for the passion of Christ. That it is the, the, the passion of Christ. Once again you have the idea of the infinite Godhead transposed, transfixed upon the limited physical constitution of man. Now, even though this is a Christian symbol to the Rosicrucians, the Rosicrucians took a lot of occult meaning to these things. For example, I and R I above the cross, which stands for Jesus Nazarenus Rexudarum, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. The Rosicrucians took their own meaning, igne natura renovator integra, which means the whole of nature is renewed by fire, which is a symbol of alchemical transmutation into the enlightened figure. Now. So once again you have the infinite transposed upon the finite, the infinite Godhead transposed upon the man, the God-man. Um, you have the circle of infinity transposed upon the finite world of the senses and the four directions. So you have an infinite, eternal, spiritual reality veiled behind the material universe. Um, you have the symbol of the pentagram the five-pointed star, which is a symbol of a man or a woman standing like this. 
you have the head, the two arms, and the two legs. Um, and these also represent the elements. Now, often the pentagram, which reminds you of the Vitruvian Man of Leonardo da Vinci, and often the pentagram has a circle around it. So once again, you have the human body, and then you have a circle of infinity behind it. Um, in the Theosophical Society, you have again the emblem of the cross and the circle around it. And the cross, I mean, the circle is obviously a reference to infinity and eternity, since it is the Eurubarus or the serpent with its tail in its mouth. And within the symbol of the Theosophical Society, you also have the hexagram. So the idea is repeated again and again. The idea of the infinite and the finite. So the, the, you could look at the symbol of the hexagram, the, the pentacle, the, um, the symbol of the Theosophical Society, the, the Rosicrucians, the Rose Cross, the, Freemasonic symbol. You could look at these symbols as a symbol of the infinite and the finite. The spiritual, eternal, and changeless transposed upon the material constitution that is subject to death and decay. So what you have here is the idea that within man exists a spiritual nature that is eternal a spiritual nature within man that is eternal that is not subject to death or decay that is infinite that there exists a spiritual reality hidden behind the veil of the material that is the true spiritual infinite eternal being that within man exists an infinite eternal changeless essence that the infinite is transposed upon the finite so you have the idea of the eternal infinite transposed upon the finite the macrocosm and the microcosm. So these are just some theories as to the meaning of these symbols. Um, the, the meaning, the key to unlock the meaning of the symbols of masonry has largely been lost. Um, the Rosicrucians, we don't know what that those symbols really represented. We have different Rosicrucian orders who claim to know what it represented. But it, it, maybe even if it does mean that, it probably goes deeper than that. Um, especially when you look at the idea of the cross and the circle, the hexagram, the pentagram. These are very ancient symbols. So that if you're looking at a symbol that goes back thousands of years to the Middle East, and modern Western people in the year 2011 are looking at this symbol and trying to see what it means, um, we don't really know. So these are just some theories as to the meaning of these symbols. These are just ideas, opinions. But if the compass is used to make a circle, you could take the, the square and compass to mean a circle of infinity and the square of the finite material world. So these are just some ideas that it represents the superior and the inferior the microcosm and the macrocosm, man and the universe, the finite and the infinite, the changeable that is subject to death and decay, and the eternal, the eternal, the timeless. So that behind the veil of the senses, there exists another reality that is not subject to these things, that is infinite, that is timeless, that is changeless and eternal and limitless so these are just some theories and thank you for joining me and once again this is Tally Simic Knight and have a great day